Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is TJ, and I am an NFT artist, uh, trader, collector, and content creator. And I'm going to make a quick video for you really quick to show you how to mint an NFT directly from the smart contract. Uh, this is typically faster than trying to mint from an NFT project's website, so it can help you skip the line um, during a mint drop. And in situations like this, where they're having technical difficulties and their website is down, um, and you can't mint from their website, it is a way to allow you to still mint the NFT. Now sometimes, in this case, uh, projects will pause minting until they can get the technical difficulties figured out, but it looks like this project is allowing us to continue minting to just do it from the smart contract. They even include instructions on how to do it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you myself really quick how to do this. I'm kind of hedging a bet right now on gamified NFTs. I think they are going to be the next big trend in the space after 10k uh, generative avatar uh, profile pick NFTs like Bored Apes. I think this is really going to be the next big trend in the space. So I'm kind of hedging that bet and aping into a bunch of uh, gamified NFT projects that I think are at affordable entry points right now. This is a new one that I just found called Crypto Demons. So I'm going to go ahead and mint uh, one of them, but they're website is down and so while they're fixing that um they've allowed you like i said they've allowed you to mint directly from the contract so yeah i will teach you how to do that really quick so they provided the contract address for us that's what you're going to need to mint directly from the contract most nft projects provide their contract address on their website or in their discord somewhere but in case they don't and you need to find it so let's open this up and this takes us directly to the contract But say uh, they didn't give us the contract address and I wanted to skip using their website to mint directly from their contract, how would I find it? So let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to OpenSea. We're gonna find the uh, collection on OpenSea. So here's the collection on OpenSea. We're just gonna go down to one of these, come down here to the uh, kind of trading history and you see where it was minted by this account four hours ago. So we're going to pop this open and actually just pull this transaction open. And you see right here where it says contract. We're going to click that. You see this contract address right here is the same as this one right here. And so this is how you find the contract address yourself. Okay, so you found the contract address on Etherscan for the project you want to mint and you don't want to use their website to mint. We're gonna go to contract right here. Click contract. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to write contract. Now we're gonna come down here to number four where it says mint token. And we're gonna put in the mint cost and the number to mint. So it costs 06 to mint. So I'll make sure I get that right, yeah. And I'm gonna mint one. Now if you wanted to mint two, you would, you know, just times 0 0.06 by two, etc. for however many you wanna mint. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Um, there's some projects I'm aping into a lot harder and buying a dozen or so, but this is one I'm gonna kinda just keep an eye on and watch. I might grab more later, but I'm just gonna start with grabbing one for right now, and then I'm gonna keep watching the project. But we're gonna go ahead and go to right. Please connect to your Web3 provider. Let me get our wallet connected. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that's right. We need to connect to Web3 right here. That's where I need to do it. Okay, so connect to Web3. So I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Go to MetaMask, and then we're going to connect our MetaMask. You see this Connect to Web3 button. When you click that, choose the um, account you want to connect. I got a community wallet for Dolly's my NFT project, and then my kind of personal account. Uh, so we're going to connect this one. And Dolly's is my NFT project. All right. So we should be connected now. Now let's try... Not really sure why this isn't working. Let me try and troubleshoot this really quick. 
Oh, there we go. So for some reason it didn't say connected before, but now you see it's saying connected here. So now it's open mint token again. I'm gonna type in 06 for the price and the number to mint is one. And there we go. Now we're cooking. Gas is pretty high right now. I'm paying 66 bucks in gas, um, but gas has just been high lately. We're in <clears throat> one of those cycles right now. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm this transaction. And that's it. Now we can go view this transaction. Now you can see it's pinned in here on Etherscan. I wanna pop open my MetaMask really quick. You see the transaction is pending right here. And that's it. So that is how you mint an NFT directly from the smart contract. You can skip a shitty or broken website or even if it's a good website, uh, it's usually probably faster. So hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you wanna see more content like this, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. I'm going to start Twitch streaming uh, NFT content and blockchain gaming content regularly too. So go ahead and drop me a follow on Twitch. And if you'd like to uh, check out my NFT project dollies, all of my links are going to be in the description down below. Peace.